Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to use um, the get open file name um, kind of menu to uh, create a picture viewer. So what we need to do first of all is go to insert and it would be user form. Since I've already created the user form, this is what I've done, right okay. So on the right here I've got a name of image one, that's where the picture is going to be stored. I've got a picture viewer, a combo box that you can select the pictures available and I've got the open picture command button. So let's view the code. Okay, there's quite a bit to this one. Command button one dot click. So on the click procedure, I've dimmed a string picture path as a variant. I've dimmed the add image as a variant. I've dimmed the filter as a string. The filter is the kind of file type that you want bitmap. Bitmap because I've only having bitmap images for this one. And title as variant. Perhaps some of those could be string to save memory, but let's not worry about that. So let's just uh, expand this. So add image basically application dot get open file name that will then bring a file filter so the file filter bit as you can see here this just specifies which ones are the actual um, get open file name you want to use you have to proceed with a semicolon and an equal sign bitmap images dot bitmap and that's your filter your filter index is number three your title will be select image uh, and multi select equals false so you can't select multiple files the string picture path is application dot this workbook dot path because I've contained it within the same path as the photos I want the path that the workbook is located in and then I'm basically saying get that path name concatenate it with a path separator i.e. a forward slash and then I'm looking for the photos directory and then it goes on error go to cancel that's the handler as we discussed in a previous one me dot image dot picture equals load picture dot add image exit sub cancel exit sub okay on the user form initialize me dot combo box equals visible equals false so I've hidden the combo box because previously I used this to add item, add item SMB logo, which is um, the company that I work for. Um, yeah, so that's how it that's how it works. And then the module, I created a module. Button one dot click. So when the button's clicked, it opens the file, the um, user form. And then. I've gone through an open single file, but that's something different completely. That's something different completely. So I won't worry about that. So look, because that's hidden. So open picture. And as you can see, the get open file name opens this. And I've given it a title of select image. If you want the code for this, because there is quite a bit to it, um, I can send that through. That's no problems whatsoever. Or I can put it in the comments line or attach a workbook. Uh, just get in touch um, via the comments section and I can email it out to uh, anyone that's interested. Um, yeah, so then what you do is you select the picture that you want. So um, mine's located on my flash drive it's within the select image user form photos um, and then you can find the image and it'll add the image to that side of the screen I think I've still got one on the desktop no yeah but that that'll then add the image to this side I've not been as advanced and uh, set the height or anything, but that's basically how you do it. I can send that through though, that's no problems at all. So yeah, if you need any help with that, just let me know. Alright, thanks a lot, that's just a quick one. Thanks then. Cheers. GH.net production. Please subscribe to my YouTube videos. Thanks for watching.